Welcome. Today we're going to try to actually find out what is a function. What, in mathematics at least, is a function? In real life, when something functions, that means it works. But in mathematics, a function is a special relationship where usually between numbers, doesn't have to be between numbers, but it's usually between numbers where every input value, which we usually call our domain, by the way, is paired or has exactly one output value, which again, we call our range. And basically what it is, is if we look at a table, we consider the left side, our X values, our input. Without even looking at the outputs, I can, in general, pretty quickly see if it's a function. Because what you look to see if there's ever a repetition in the X values. Because if there's ever a repetition in the X values, almost always that will not be a function. Because that means that input is paired with more than one output. This input of 2 goes to 3. This is a different input, and it goes to 3, which is fine. I don't care if I have multiple inputs that go to the same output. This negative 3 goes to 0. 7 goes to 1. 8 goes to 8. 10 goes to 9. It's this where we have a problem. If I look down these inputs of this relationship, you'll notice I have a 2 at the top here, and just a little ways down I have a 2 again. That worries me. If that two here and the two at the top are paired with a different number, it will not be a function. So I look here and go, oh, two here is paired with three, two down here is paired with six. This one is not a function, or this one is a function. And again, it all comes down to that every input, whoops, you can't see where I'm pointing, that every input has exactly one output. A lot of times you'll see functions represented as mappings. These are mappings. And the first oval contains our input values. The second oval contains our output values. And this input value of two goes to only one output value. Again, what I do is I like to cover up the output and just ask myself, how many lines are leading away from each input? If there's only one line leading away from each input, right? One line going away from the two, one line going away from the three, one line going away from the six, one line going away from the five, and one line going away from the seven, you have a function. Doesn't matter that some of them actually go to the same output value, it is a function. What we don't want is to have an input value be branching off to two different output values. If we have two output values for this one input value of negative six, then it would not be a function where this one is. So again, we don't want to be branching out from the x's, from the inputs. It's all right if I go to the same output from multiple inputs, I just can't branch out from the inputs. Another way we represent functions, obviously, is we represent them as uh, sets of ordered pairs instead of a table, but like this in set notation. And again, what I do is I look at the x's. I ignore the y's for a moment. I just look at the x's and see if there's any repetition. 0, 2, 8, 12, 9. No repetition in x, that would be good. That would be considered a function. But if I get a set of ordered pairs and I'm like, okay, two, five, three, four, two, oh, two again, I have a two here that's paired with a four, and I have a two here that's paired with a nine, I cannot have an output of nine going to two when an output of four already goes to two. That is not a function. The last way I want to talk about recognizing functions is through graphs. If you have a graph, what we want to do is we want it to pass what's called the vertical line test. The vertical line test says as you move across horizontally with a vertical line, and think of my pen as that vertical line, will it ever touch a point more than one point at a time? So right there I touch one point. As I come along with the edge of the pen, right there it touches one point. 
right here it touches one point, right here it touches one point, touches one point, touches one point, touches one point, touches one point. It never touches two points at the same time, as long as you're considering just that right side of the pen, right, a line. That would become, or that would be considered a function. But if we had a graph where as I'm moving along, that vertical line moving along horizontally, I touch one there, I touch one, I touch one, I touch one. But right here, ooh, go back a little bit right there, I hit two points at the exact same time along this input value of two. I have a y value of one and also a y value of three. That is not a function. Let's look at a continuous function. Here's a continuous function, because again, as I think of that line going across there, I'm only going to intersect that line, that curve, at one point at any given input or x value. But if I take this relationship, because this is not a function, there are many points along here, right here, where there are multiple outputs. I have an output of that. I have an output right here. I have an output right here. I have three different y values for this x value of negative 3. That would consider to be not a function. If you have questions, please bring them to class.